Hey, our buddy Mark Agnesi here in the back room of Norman's Rare Guitars. Welcome back. It is another all new episode of Guitar of the Day. Yes, Woo! we've done it again, and here we are. <laughs> oh man, let's see. Uh, guitar show started today. Norm's out of the building. Asylums are, uh, the uh, inmates are running the asylum, as they say. <laughs> the asylums are fine. I'm not crazy. Everybody else is crazy. Um, I think that's. Right I'm at the top crazy. of the list of something a crazy person would say, right? Um, so, uh, as I know right now, I think 32 guitars already down on the first day. So there'll be some new stuff in here. There's some basses. There's some Telecasters. Everything's going to be okay. All right? I <laughs> promise. Um, it's Flat Top Friday. We do the acoustic kinds of guitars today. Also, um, if you're a fan of our channel, our friend Sinead Burgess... Uh, her video, her first video she shot in the story just went over a million views on the channel, so a lot of you have seen it. Her new acoustic record, Damaged Goods, is out today. Go check that out. Uh, make sure you give it a listen. Fantastic stuff. I think Jen just put up a new video today, too, of the uh, of the new single that she's got out. Really, really good stuff. Um, I promised you guys something cool. This is going to deliver. Again, we're getting close to 600 episodes. We've never done one of these guitars. There's still Gibson flat tops we've never done. What? One last one about to get crossed off the list. Check this out. This is from 1941. This is an original Gibson Roy Smeck Stage Deluxe. Original sunburst finish, fire stripe guard. Uh, and this thing has been converted to play Spanish style. What? What does that mean? Dude, I'm not making stuff up. We got a lot to talk about. Okay. So, the Roy Smeck Stage Deluxe, well, there's two Roy Smeck models. There's the Roy Smeck Stage Deluxe, which is this guy right here, which is the uh, mahogany back and sides version. And then there's another model called the Roy Smeck Radio Grande, which is similar, slightly different um, specs on the uh, body, but it's a rosewood back and sides. Those are uber, uber rare. These are pretty rare as well. They started making these kind of in the mid 30s. They go right up through the uh, Banner era. They kind of get discontinued right around the time of World, uh, World War II starts in late 41. So this is a 41. This is the final year of production, which also makes something rare about these. Only in 1941, um, they started to play with the size of the sound hole. They, they enlarged the sound hole a little bit. Notice how the sound hole kind of overlaps where the fingerboard is. Only in 41 you will see that. Every other uh, model you'll see the, 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 there'll be a little bit of space between the end of the fingerboard and the sound hole. So this does have that enlarged sound hole, kind of has that J35. I mean, the body itself kind of looks like a J35. But then you add a 12 fret neck joint on there. It's like a smeck neck. J35. I like that. I like the sound of that. Smack. Smack neck J35. Smack neck. When we say smack neck, what are we talking about? Look at this <laughs> neck. It's a Roy Smack. So the smack neck. Look at the nut width on this thing. This is like two inch nut width. Yes. Freaking ridiculous. <laughs> and look at the carve on the neck. Freaking ridiculous. Why in the world would they do that, you ask? Well, here's the deal. These guitars were originally set to play Hawaiian style. All right, the little 30s, early 1940s, that was kind of the Hawaiian music boom. So this guitar would have been played in your lap, originally would have had the high nut and the high saddle would have been set up to play slack key guitar on. Um, but what people found out is if you reset the neck on these, for them to make them play Spanish like it is now, in, in the Spanish style, Spanish style, as in the, as opposed to the Hawaiian style, have it set up to play Spanish style, that the 12 fret joint, the mass of the neck and the size of the body makes like one 3,000 pound hairy ass gorilla of a tone, man. It's just like, boom, it's killer. Oh man, fun guitar. My favorite part is it says D-Luxe. Not Deluxe, <laughs> D-Luxe. <laughs> Love that. Oh, let's go to the couch. Oh, really? Only uh, issues with this guitar, other than the fact that it was converted. Uh, center seam is starting to open up a little bit, but, you know, that tends to happen. Uh, and it's got a set of uh, repro tuners on there. Yeah, those buttons are a little white for this guitar. But, yeah, those are a set of reproduction tuners. But, man, wait till you hear this thing. It's a freaking cannon. Let's go to the couch. Let's tickle this guy. Let's bang on it real hard. <laughs> See if it passes the Agnesi bang on it real hard test. 
Let's go do it. It's Flat Top Friday. I'm stoked. Tickle and bang. Tickle and bang. <laughs> oh boy. All right, we're out front. We have the 1941 Gibson Roy Smeck Stage Deluxe. Converted to play Spanish style, original sunburst, finish, fire strike, pick guard. We're gonna put it through the paces here really quick. We're gonna start with the fingers and then we'll uh, we'll switch to a flat pick here in a second. Let's start with the fingers, see what this guy can do. We tickle and now we bang. Here we go. <laughs> Grab the flat pick. Let's just hit the living crap out of this thing. Believe me, it can take it. Check this out.
I Ooh. told you. Man, think <laughs> stupid Canon guitar right here from 1941, final year of production. Gibson Roy Smeck Stage Deluxe. Original sunburst finish, mahogany back and side, spruce top, fire stripe guard. Slightly oversized sound hole on this one. Stage Deluxe on the headstock. This one's got repro tuners on it. Man, what a freaking Canon guitar. There's your flat top Friday for this week. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, at Mark Agnesi. Follow the store at Norman's Rare Guitars. Check this and the rest of these guitars out online at normansrareguitars.com. And please join us again tomorrow for one final episode of Guitar of the Day. We'll see you guys back there then. Peace. Bye. Dude, seriously. <laughs>